Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Welcome to today's message from Harvest Chapel International. We believe the message will be a blessing to you as you imbibe God's truth. God bless you. Father, we thank you for tonight as we continue with the service. May grace abound and may mercy prevail. We thank you for your presence in this place. Let your name alone be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, please take your seats. All right, we are in a new month, in the month of October. We are in the year of significant impact, and we are in the month of working well together. I want to trust God tonight to bring you a message along the theme that I have entitled, Working Well Together to Make an Impact. And I want to just go straight into the Word of God. I want us to look at Matthew. Matthew chapter 21. And I want to look at the verse 17 to 19. Matthew chapter 21, 17 to 19. And he left them and went out of the city into Bethany. And he lodged there. Now in the morning, as he returned into the city, he hungered. And when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing thereon, but leaves only, and said unto it, Let no fruit grow on thee henceforth forever. I'm just connecting it with the impact that we trust God to work together to make an impact. The Bible makes me know that when Jesus saw this tree, he saw the tree, he went to the tree, he expected a fruit, but he saw only leaves. He expected something that would bless him. He didn't find anything and he cursed it. I just believe that what the Bible is trying to tell us is that we must make an impact. As a church, we are supposed to make an impact. People will hear about us and come here. And they come here to trust to get some fruit and get some impact. People will come in here trusting God for various things because there are people who are in need. People may come in to trust God for healings. Or deliverance for impartations for visitations of the spirit if they come and they don't find any of these things i don't think then we would have been making an impact so jesus cursed the fig tree i pray that even as we continue in this month god will grant us grace we have just a few more months to finish up the year but our theme is our year of significant impact we pray that god will grant us grace that as we work well together we will make a significant impact. Say amen. All right, I want us to go to Exodus and I want to look at the verse 25. I want to preach briefly on the message working well together to make an impact. Working well, working. It's about working. And I want to look at the I want to look at Exodus 25 verse 1 to 9. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring me an offering of every man that giveth it willingly. With his heart ye shall take my offering. It has to do with offering. I'm not talking about that in a way now. I'm sure somebody else will talk about that later. And this is the offering which ye shall take of them, gold and silver and brass, and blue and purple, and scarlet and fine linen, and goat's hair, and ram skin dyed red, and badger's skin, and shitting wood, oil for the light, spices for the anointing oil, and for sweet incense, onks stones, and stones to be set in the effort and in the breastplate. And let them make me a sanctuary. Let them make me a sanctuary according to all that i show thee after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments thereof even so shall ye make it so talking about working well together i believe that we must get a pattern from the lord 
So we are not just doing a good thing, but we are doing a good thing, a God thing. He said that it could be a good thing, but not a good idea. A good idea, but not a God idea. So the Bible makes me know that God instructed them, gave them a pattern concerning the sanctuary. And when you go down to the verse 40, there's an emphasis there. And look that thou make them after their pattern which was shown thee in the mount. So I want to believe that if we want to work well together, we must get the blueprints from God, from heaven, from the Father. Because there's a good idea and there's a God idea. That is why I believe that the Bible admonishes us to pray for our leaders. Because I believe that it's, it's, it's a very sensitive area for us to be able to get God's blueprint for the church. Then we can work well together. Because if we don't get the right blueprint, we may do something that is not really in the plan of God. It's a good thing, but it may not be a God idea. Hallelujah. And I want to look at 1 Timothy 2 1. So this is our work. I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Go ahead. For kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. This is part of the work we are supposed to be doing. If we trust God to work well together, we must be able to pray for the leaders. Pray for the pastors, pray for everyone who is in a sensitive role so that we can work according to God's blueprint. Then we can, we can be said that we are working well together. We are talking about working well together. Amen. Well, to place a little emphasis on this, let's go to Luke chapter 10, verse 38. Now it came to pass, as they went, that he entered into a certain village. And a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving, and came to him and said, Lord, does thou not care that my sister has left me to, to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things. But one thing is needful, and Mary has chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. This was a case where Jesus came to the house, and I believe that Martha was very concerned about Jesus. I believe Martha went to the kitchen and was doing some nice meal. You know, but then Martha, Mary was before the Lord, listening to the Lord, getting to his word, catching some revelation. Then Martha comes to say, oh Jesus, why don't you let my sister come and help me? We are cooking for you. It's a good thing. Was it wasn't a bad thing. It's a very nice thing to cook for Jesus. But I said, no, this is not very important. The focus here is the word. Hallelujah. I'm just trying to use this to support what I just said. That it's very sensitive that when we are talking about working well together, we must get the blueprint from the Father. And our work as church is to pray for our leaders so when we get the blueprints and we shoot we know that we are not missing targets say amen all right so now let's continue looking at exodus chapter chapter 35 exodus chapter 35 i want to say some few things concerning working well together we are talking about emphasizing working well not just working working well and we are talking about working well not the way we think the way god thinks because we can work well and we are happy, but that may not be God's blueprint for us. So I'm looking at Exodus chapter 35, and I want to take it from verse 30. And Moses said unto the children of Israel, See, the Lord has called by name Bezaleel, the son of Uri, the son of Er, of the tribe of Judah, and hath filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom in understanding and in knowledge and in all man of workmanship and to devise curious works we are talking about working to work in gold and in silver and in brass 
and in the cutting of stones to set them, and in carving of wood to make any man of cunning work. And he hath put in his heart that he may teach both he and Aholiab, the son of Ahimash, of the tribe of Dan. Them hath he filled with wisdom of heart to work all man of work of the engraver and of the cunning workman and of the embroider in blue and in purple in scarlet and in fine linen and of the weaver even of them that do any work of those that devise cunning work when we are talking about working well together you can see that god has chosen of course we i'm going to come there but god expects excellence god expects a good work done so before we can work well together we can see that there's a man here the bible talks about wisdom understanding the spirit of god we can never say we are working well together to please the lord to get god's blueprint if the spirit of god is not there if wisdom and understanding is not with us so you can see that there's a picture here that god is painted that this particular person is gifted and graced to do a very good job amen so we want to pray and trust god that even as we trust god to work well together apart from getting the blueprints god will grant us grace to put the right pillars in the right places hallelujah so then you can see then let's continue with uh, the chapter 36 verse 1 and 2 then wrote bezalel and aholiab and every wise hearted man in whom the lord put wisdom and understanding to know how to work all manner of work for the service of the sanctuary according to all that the lord has commanded and moses called bezalel and aholiab and every wise hearted man i want you to underline that one every wise hearted man in whose heart the lord has put wisdom even everyone whose heart stirred him up to come unto the work and to do it you can see there are two categories here so apart from the father god has grace setting particular I'll, I'll find time and see if i can finish that one before we close i call them pillars but then apart from the pillars we are talking about doing a good job apart from the pillars the bible is talking about people whose heart have been stirred and i believe that everyone's heart here must be stirred to do the work of the law because when you do the work of the lord and we work well together he will prosper us i believe that we come to church to receive some prosperity or receive prosperity and some blessing media team can you go with me to nehemiah chapter 2 verse 20 please then answered i them and said unto them the god of heaven he will prosper us therefore we his servants will arise and build so when we work together when you work and put your hands to the things of god you prosper i believe we have come to church to prosper in every area of our lives nobody's in church just to sit down not to prosper we are here to prosper in various ways and this scripture is a scripture of love it says then answered i them and said unto them the god of heaven he will prosper us therefore we his servants will arise and build if you want god to prosper you you must arise and build if you want god to prosper you you must work together and work well together hallelujah so i printed the two pictures apart from special people i call them pillars I'm, I'm sure i'll make i'll make time for that before we close god has selected everybody else to work together concerning the things of god say amen first corinthians chapter 12 first corinthians chapter 12 we are talking about working well together first corinthians chapter 12 i want to look at the verse 18 to 27 but now has god set the members every one of them in the body as it has pleased him 
So it's a body thing. It's all of us. Everybody's involved. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are there many members yet but one body? And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee. Nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of thee. Nay, much more, those members of the body which seem to be feeble are necessary. Everybody is necessary. Every department is necessary. Hallelujah. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable upon these were bestowed more abundant honor. And our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. For our comely parts have no need. But God has tempered the body together. Having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked. So you can see that when we are talking about working well together. Everybody is involved. Everybody is involved. The eye is involved. The nose is involved. Everybody is involved. You are involved. I am involved. We are supposed to work together so that we can make an impact. Hallelujah. But we, I want us to look at the building process or the working process. There are a few things that go with the working process. When we are working together, there are a few things that go with it. So you can see here that God has selected some special people with wisdom to do certain particular things. But then now it is generalized every one of us because we're in the body we also have a part to play so when we notice that there are some who are particularly graced to do certain things we have to support them and push them to get those things done amen because everybody carries a kind of grace and if we want to work together well then we have to recognize the grace that people carry because we all carry different graces but if we don't do it that way, we cannot work well together. Hallelujah. But then when I look at Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 18 to 20, I want us to look at the building process, the working together process. Then I told them of the hand of God, which was good upon me. As also the king swear that he has spoken unto me. And they said, let us rise up and build. Let us rise up and work together. So they strengthen their hands for this good work. It's a good work to work together. Now the world is so funny. People are building funny things. But I think that it's time for us to build the house of the Lord. But when Sambalat and the Horonites and Tobiah the servants, the Ammonites, and Geshem the Arabian heard it, they loved us to scorn. And despised us and said what is this thing that they do will ye rebel against the king then answered I them and said unto them the God of heaven he will prosper us therefore we his children will arise and build so the thing about working together working well together is that we should remember that there's a Sambalat and a Tobaya spirit that can come in to discourage, to try to frustrate the work of the law. Hallelujah. So we have to watch out for that kind of spirit that is discouraging the work from being done as we work together. It's possible. I mean, you can find any one of us. We are human. I like the scripture in, uh, I think, Matthew chapter 18, somewhere along the line, where Peter said, Thou art Christ, the Son of the living God. He caught the revelation that down the line somewhere, then Jesus said, you sit and get thee behind me. So this Peter who had revelation the first time, down the line, this same Peter now was being used of the devil. When I read that scripture the first time, I said, Charlie, I have to be very careful because it doesn't matter who you are. When you open a door, the devil will use you. I don't know if you can read that scripture. I'm sure you know that scripture. I seen Matthew chapter 18 there about where Jesus asked, what do men say that I am? And Peter said, thou art Christ. The son of the living God. He said, flesh and blood didn't reveal this to you. Down the line, one of the best you can check when you get home. He tried to stop Jesus from going to the cross. He said, get thee behind me, Satan. So this Tobiah and Sambala spirit can come in, bring confusion, so unnecessary things, and then it will cause us not to work well together. So in the building process, we have to watch out for the 
Sambalat and the Tobiah spirit. Amen. But then, again in Emma chapter 3, verse 1 to 3, the Bible makes us know that then Elisha, the high priest, rose up with the brethren, the priests, and they builded the ship gate. They worked together. They worked well together. They sanctified it and set up the doors of it, even unto the tower of Mea. They sanctified it unto the tower of Hananiah. And next unto them builded the men of Jericho. And next to them builded Zachor the son. So you see, everybody was building. Everybody was doing something. All hands were on deck. So we are talking about working well together. Every hand is on deck. Well, maybe let's say yesterday your hands were not on deck. It doesn't matter. People change. Let's change. Let's get our hands on deck. Hallelujah. But then we have to be watchful because when we agree to work well together, this Sambalat and Tobiah spirit can try to come amongst us to frustrate the work. Hallelujah. So I want to say that as we trust God to work well together, we must be watchful in addition to working well together. We must be watchful. Amen. And give me Judges chapter 7. Judges chapter 7 verse 5. Alright, okay. I love this account very well. Let's read it. So he brought down the people into unto the water, and the Lord said unto Gideon, Everyone that lappeth of the water with his tongue is as a dog lappeth him shall thou set by himself. Likewise, everyone that boweth down upon his knees to drink. Go ahead, please. And the number of them that lappeth putting their hand to their mouth were 300 men. But all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water. Go ahead. And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the 300 men that lap will I save you and deliver the Midianites into their hand and let all the other people go, every man unto his place. This account is talking about men who were coming to work for the Lord, so to speak. And... The Bible makes me know that God saw that no, no, I need people who are watchful. So he asked them, go and drink water. Then some of them went put their head in the water. And some will just take watch. Take watch. He said, no, these people are watchful people. These people can do the work. So these ones were selected. Amen. So what does it mean? It just means that when we come to do the, it can be a very sensitive thing. Working well together. So many funny things can come in there. If we are not careful and we are not watchful, we will not be able to do a good work. Hallelujah. We will not be able to do a good work. So in, in Nehemiah chapter 4, we let's see how they were watchful as they trusted God to work well together. Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 6 to 8. Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 6 to 8. So build we the wall. All the wall was joined together unto the half thereof, for the people had a mind to work. The people had a mind to make God grant us grace to work. Whether we like it or not, this is our church. Our children, our children's children are going to come and see what we did and left behind. Amen. We pray that God will grant us grace to work together and work well together. But the Bible makes me know that so built we the wall and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof for the people had a mind to work but it came to pass that when Sambalat and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashdodites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up and that the breaches began to be stopped then they were very wroth they were very angry and conspired all of them together to come and to fight against Jerusalem and to hinder it. So many things can come against us as we trust God to work well together. Working well together has to do with building. So the Bible makes me know that as they were building, it got to a point where now the work was... Some enemies wanted to hinder the work. It may not be from outside. It, it's a spirit. It's a spirit. Oh, why is he doing this way? Why is he doing it that way? I should have done it this way. Should have done it this way. You, you know, those kind of things will not make us work well. Amen. 
we are human sometimes it's very easy to do some of those things you know okay this you should have done it this way we can we can correct in love amen hallelujah and they conspired all of them together to come and to fight against jerusalem to hinder it nevertheless we made our prayer unto god and set a watch against them day and night because of them one of the things that we need to do if we are talking about working well together we cannot put away prayer prayer is not for a particular group of people prayer is for all of us the bible makes me know that because of these enemies the bible says they set watch against them day and night and they were in prayer they were in prayer and i believe that if we are talking about working well together we have to be in prayer we have to pray against anything that we want to stand in our way of working well together because the devil doesn't like us to build the house of god and judah said the strength of the bearers of the burdens is decayed and there is much rubbish so that we are not able to build a wall and our adversary said they shall not know neither see till we come in their midst among them and slay them and cause their work to cease so this one so we are talking about watchfulness if you are not watchful certain things can come amongst us they, and then cause confusion we find ourselves fighting one another and then we will not be able to work well together hallelujah may god grant us grace so that we'll be able to work well together amen but i want to look at the verse verse 16 and 17 and it came to pass from the time forth that half of my servants wrought in the work and the other half of them held both the spears and the shields and the bows and the habergeons and the rulers were behind all the house of judah everybody they which be builded on the wall and they that bear burdens with those that laid it everyone with one hand wrought in the work and with the other hand held a weapon so they were fully armed they were not just working well together because they wanted to work well together they didn't just get a blueprint from the lord and decided to work well together as they were working well together they were fully armed they were watchful they were prayerful and they succeeded amen so prayer is very key and the bible makes me know they were working one hand was on the weapon one hand was working that means that as we are working well together prayer must never cease everyone must be praying hallelujah everyone must be praying so i want to just say a few things about the pillars that i spoke about may god grant us grace to work well together um first corinthians chapter 12 first corinthians chapter 12 and i want to look at the verse 28 to 30 first corinthians chapter 12 verse 28 and god has set some in the church first apostles secondarily prophets thirdly teachers after that miracles then gifts of healings helps governments diversities of tongues so i really put these pillars so when you if we really want to work well together we must identify certain pillars that god has placed when you're building a house every building block is very important but without the pillars the blocks cannot be supported properly and if there are only pillars and there are no building blocks the building will not be completed so both are important but these are called number one spiritual pillars there will be spiritual pillars amongst us what do i mean by spiritual pillars there will be people who are graced just to be very spiritual amen the work we are doing is a spiritual work and so we must just learn to accept every gift that god has given unto us if we want to work well together and because these are pillars they go to the extreme amen so the the pillar that i'll call this because i'm looking at the apostles secondly prophets and i'm just putting them all you know 
and because that is their area they, they will go deep and we we have to understand we have to encourage them we have to put i remember growing up in a certain church at a certain point some of these young guys who were coming up who had the gift of prophecy they would prophesy 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 and you could hear some of the church members are uh, well that will prophesy you know that was discouraging because that was a pillar coming up you know so we are talking about spiritual pillars there will be spiritual pillars those are one of the pillars we must we must expect when we are talking about building well together and then i'm talking about financial pillars public and helps and other things there'll be financial pillars everybody can give all of us can give but there are people who are graced they are pillars one person can decide to say i'm paying everything for harvest space 2019 uh, 2020 amen those are pillars those are pillars so we must recognize these pillars when it comes to working well together we must not frustrate them we must not stand in their way otherwise we will never be able to build well together and i call another group the ministerial pillars they minister to people they are very fast at locating and ministering to people these are the pillars if we are talking about working well together because we are talking about building the house of the law amen and then we are talking about men of men and women of wisdom men and women of wisdom it's a gift everybody's great you have your gift everybody has their gift everybody has their gifts amen hallelujah so we are trusting god that even as we have entered into the month of working well together god will grant us grace to pray that we will identify his blueprint and then god will grant us grace to pray always for our leaders and then we will be able to accept people who have been specialized in various ways to do certain things that we may not be specialized to do we have also have our areas hallelujah then we as a body will push this way together because whatever happens the bible says we're building a sanctuary they were all supposed to be move, uh, moving in that that sanctuary was supposed to be for them they were not building for somebody else it was they were building for themselves so whatever we build here is for us for our children our children's children hallelujah i pray that god will grant us grace that as we have entered into the month of building well together god will help us to be one god will help us to know that we all have our various areas god will help us to get our weapons ready to fight in prayer so that whatever agenda of the enemy may be set against us because i've noticed that in every building process there is an enemy god will help us so that we'll be strong so that when the enemy shall want to come to stop and hinder the work he shall not prevail against us may god strengthen us as we have entered this month of october in jesus name amen thank you for listening to the message visit us on www.harvestinternationalministries.org send us an email through office at harvestinternationalministries.org or call us on 0302-222-372 or 0302-229-109. God bless you.